Welcome to the Boerman Institute, first of all. Welcome to the new season of the Floral Design live streams. This is the first one of this year, so I'm hoping you are just as excited as I am to start again. My name is Mike Borma, for those of you that don't know me yet. Today we're making two arrangements, or I am making two arrangements for you. One was requested by someone in the, in the chat, I think, or in the comment section below, and it was a bridal bouquet on a bridey. So I'm gonna do that today. The other thing I will be doing today is something special I got over there. A Valentine's bouquet, hand tied, in a frame. It's gonna be fun, I think. This bridey, originally it was completely white and that's kind of boring. Sometimes people sell it just white. So I prefer it to be covered with anything. Can be, for example, rustic wire, binding wire from Oasis, like I did now. So this rustic wire from Oasis which I use for almost anything when creating structures, binding tubes to a frame or whatever. And also covering, for example, this. I'm also binding bouquets with it. And it's a nice thing to start with. I prefer to have this done before. Of course, the Oasis are already wet and it's the regular Oasis foam. Unfortunately, I don't have this as the biodegradable one, but people asked for it, so I did want to show it. Then I have lots of greens. I want to make this kind of like an open silhouette, open outline type of bridal bouquet. So nice and romantic. I have already some things on wire. For example, the Hedra. Yes, thank you very much, awesome. I have the original one without anything on it. And it's kind of like a microphone and it's pretty convenient. You can of course also reuse them. So you can take off the plastic and then you can put in other Oasis foam. It's kind of tricky, it's easier to just get a new one, but if you want to reuse, it is possible. This is just ivy from our garden. I put on wire already, as you can see here maybe. It's uh, crosswise as we do in the professional course. So those have, that have been in our professional course, of course they will recognize the technique. And I want to work with my longer materials first. So I start with this ivy over here. And I like to work now from long to high up. And sometimes I will just go randomly crisscross. Hedera, maybe start with some nice length. And I hook them so that they are just a little bit stronger. Look at the movement. I'll go to the front with this one too. And Angelica, sorry, you wanted to say something more. Well, we have a few people saying hello. Oh, hello, welcome. We have Taiwan giving thumbs up. Awesome. Hello, Taiwan. We have Reed saying hi from Reed, Estonia. Hi. Hey, Reed. Welcome back. Good to have you here. We have your mom saying hi, guys. How are you? Hey, my mom is also here. What a coincidence. I'm just starting out with my base. Greens a little bit here and there. Beautiful leaf over here. And then make it go long and then a little bit shorter. So I got a long, nice length here, which will be, I guess it will be worn like this. So we get some length to the front, nice and elegant, and then some stuff, some things going on in the back as well, because of course we want to balance that. I kind of like making things cascade. I think it's elegant. We have Alejandro saying hello from Spain. Oh, Alejandro, welcome. Welcome, welcome. And of course, Max K. Hey, Max K, you're back too, nice. He is saying to hi you. to all and good to see you in 2021. Yes, we're all still alive and in good health. I hoped that uh, as the year would turn, suddenly everything would be back to normal again, but uh, you know, <laughs> not yet. But things are progressing, I'm always positive. I think it's gonna be a good year this year and everything will slowly go back to a type of normalcy. A eucalyptus with some berries on there, lovely. Also some nice length. I'm using the Ikebana scissors I got from a friend of mine from Japan, Kazuma Kato. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. So, a little bit of length down there too. Actually, one of the things that is quite smart to do, but uh, I'm kind of a chaotic person, is to also do your length flowers as well. So. I got some uh, camelaukium. Then I wanted to use some roses in the length as well. I have so many cool things again. So roses, a little bit greenish, a little bit pinkish, and then beautiful dark pink anterinum. I think this is the same color as the curtains my mother used to have. Now they are green, but I love that color. Makes me nostalgic, I guess. 
some kamalaukim or wax flower. I think it's a beautiful rustic flower that fits in with this bouquet that I want to give a rustic atmosphere, fitting with the Valentine's theme. And of course the color from this kamalaukim is coming back into the galax that's in there. The galax is in there nice and deep. Then a rose. I'll cut it off diagonally so that it goes easier into the oasis. And then, this is a trick when you are working with long materials, it's quite important to put some wire around it, hook it, uh, so like a crisscross wiring, and then we need a little hook. And this hook I will use to make sure it doesn't fall out later. Of course, I'm looking at this from the back side, makes it a little bit tricky, but it should all be possible. So you can see the rose going in like this. Take my wire, cut it off a little bit, and then here, yes, I'm folding it over the piece of plastic. And that is what will keep it inside the bouquet easily. Question from Taiwan. Yeah. Is this bouquet cascade style? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of cascading, you're right. But I also want to make it more or less open silhouette, so it's not going to be so much in a drop shape, I hope. And then another hook so that I can wire it again, just to create some extra strength that it doesn't fall out when the bride is walking down the aisle because that would be pretty embarrassing. Don't want any of that. I would suggest to tell the bride when you're working with the bridey to not throw it over her shoulder because otherwise it's like an explosion. I've been there. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter how many wires you stick in there, but uh, you know, you will, it will never work out as good. Maybe you suggest, can I make a hand-tied bridal bouquet for you so that you can throw it over your shoulder? Maybe just a little posy, an easy one. That will solve your problem because nothing is more embarrassing than seeing someone chuck some flowers over their shoulder and then pff, it falls on the ground and then it explodes. That's yeah, just sad. So try to, you know, better to, to work that out with your customer, what kind of a bouquet they want and what the purpose is, what they want to do with it. Do they want to keep it forever? Because then maybe you should look for a bridal bouquet that you can dry easily. Maybe a wired bouquet, a completely wired bouquet that can dry easily. Of course, you need to look at the, what type of materials you're going to use for that. So look for flowers that are drying more easily, like uh, limonium and such. Um, roses can dry nicely, dianthus can dry nicely. Then, because we want to get this open outline kind of feeling, I will have to work with different types of heights. That's what creates for me this, this open silhouette type of feeling. When you're sticking things into the oasis, don't stick them in too deep, because then you're gonna have a problem because you're, all your stems are gonna come out on the other side or you're gonna, they're gonna crisscross and they're gonna battle each other. So make sure that you don't stick them in too far. Angelica. Uh, Morgan says, yes, Morgan from the US. And hey. in Belgium, so. Nice, yes, Fleur Moore. I remember, that's nice. That's been a while, oh my God. Great memories from there. We were working together in, uh, in Fleur Moor helping out uh, Holly Chapel and uh, Sue McCleary and Francoise Weeks, Helen Miller, Susie Kostik. They were doing a floral fashion show, which was really cool. Angelica was the model there. Now oh, we get a little problem because it's gonna be difficult to get this thick stem in. So what I'm doing is I'm putting it on a wire and then it'll stick easier. And that's one of those things, right? Sometimes Wiring can take a little extra time, but it will help you with certain things. Like making sure that flowers are sticking into the oasis better. So that's quite important to know all these techniques and make the most out of your arrangements that way. So let's see. It's going like this, right? It's kind of like a Hogarth line. Do, 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 do. Yep. Just put in some nice other textures, some uh, Ripsalis. And this one doesn't need water actually, so I could just let it hang out without it touching the oasis. But it's cool. I prefer it to be nice and deep inside the oasis foam anyway. It's nice and uh, strong that way. So I have some roses in the front. I need to get these roses back 
to the top as well. And I'm grouping a little bit here and there. And of course the Oasis is getting fuller and fuller. And my solution is always to go for the wire. We have our bigger ones lower and our smaller ones higher. What do I have more? I have some other nice romantic materials like this Estrancia. I'm gonna put that in. Angelica. Yes, we have a question from Marijke Ebbes. Oh, cool. She's saying, hello, everyone. Hey, hey. Um, Mike, you're not putting all materials on wire. Why not? Correct. It's not necessary to put everything on wire. I just put a lot of my heaviest materials in the beginning on wire so that I was sure that they will not fall out awkwardly. But uh, it's not really necessary per se to do everything on wire. There's some more Astrantia. So I have it over here. So I want to make a comeback to the other side. Oh, and I did this. I took this cool thing that I've already immediately forgot. Did I put this in on the front? No. No, uh, so I took some black raspberry. No, blackberry. Is it blackberry? I think so, Bran. Yeah. I cut that from the garden. And I thought it was cool because of the color and of the length, of course. So, well, maybe I can still squeeze it in, I hope. Yes. Does that work? Don't break, please. A little bending, a little training of the stem. Yep, I guess that works. Yeah, there it is, now it's inside. Question from Morgan. Yeah. I'm a bit unlucky with Ostrancia. Oh, yeah. Do you have a processing trick to keep them from wilting? Yes, they wilt very fast, you are right. Um, what I use though, for that type of situation, is um, quick dip quick dip that's it it's a very easy name but it's quick dip and it works kind of like magic whenever you have something wilting you just dip it in there for two seconds that's why it's called quick dip after a yeah after a while i don't know exactly how long it will start to go up again so it's like a very strong stuff very strong liquid no yes yeah like that da -da 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 -da. so there we have the second camera <laughs> so it's quick dip just two seconds and uh, after a while it will stop drooping and will actually become very strong again and this helped me with a lot of flowers also with uh, a still bee because a still bee is another one of those tricky ones sort of a miracle uh, cure you can test it i think uh, the us should have it as well yeah oasis us talking about a still bee i got some very very small ones a little bit sad but also cute and I'm just going in and out, so some materials are longer, some materials are shorter. And I just create depth in that way. I just remembered something. Oh. That our beautiful friend Stefan van Berlo oh. once said that quick dip is the Viagra for flowers. <laughs> it basically is. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I dared not say it. Luckily, Stefan did it for me. <laughs> It's true. So, and some nice grass, my favorite grass, Casmantium. Such a nice, fragile feel. I almost put it in everything when I uh, work with something that I want to make romantic or rustic. So, there we go. Maybe it's, yeah, it's quite dark over there, but um, very open, very open feeling for this bouquet. Ah. I always find out later I forget some materials, like this kala. Of course, this kala would also be amazing as a length material. Can we still squeeze it in? Maybe if I do it on a wire. That's the struggle when you're forgetful. You forget things. Yeah, pop, pop, goes in there. And then we have another strong line going down. I think probably a little bit too strong, so I'm masking it with some greens and probably I'll put some more greens over there as well. Eucalyptus, and that will go over it. Cover it a little bit. Yeah, that's better, huh? That helps. Let's make some things jump out a little bit more because nothing's really jumping out yet. So we have these scabiosa, little scabiosa balls just one last flower that i put in there and that's this buvardia i love buvardias so i like to have them in there 
the, of course the, the pink color and the strange shapes of the Bavardia makes them interesting in this bouquet. I just want a little bit extra in there and that's this dark colored uh, chrysanthemum. Also this is for the color, to bring the colors a little bit more together and also it's for the texture. I just need some bigger flowers in there as well I guess to compensate for all the chaos that I'm sowing now with all these small flowers. Put some Lysianthus in there. Oh, just one last flower. And this is also a luxury problem because I have the flowers to put in there. I feel like I should. It's a pity to have the flowers go to waste. These are big and close materials. So I think they will bring some calm to this design. Come back over here. This is going to be the last flower for this design. Then I'm going to move on to the next one, which will be the hand tied. I think that's it. Maybe later I'll put uh, Lysianthus over here, but I don't want to take up too much time. So probably another Lysianthus here so that we have this bright color coming back over here. It makes it calm. And then on the other side, it kind of looks like this. Maybe I'll put something more over there, but I think that's basically it. Of course, if you want to see then the complete, design after I touch it up a little bit, I'll put it on Instagram later so you can see it over there. Any questions until now for this design? Maar zoveel soorten bloemen heb ik niet. Heb yeah. je volgende keer iets simpeler? So the question is, uh, I don't have this many different flowers. Can you make it a little bit simpler next time? Of course, of course. Yeah, you don't need all these different flowers. You can make the same thing with maybe just three different types of flowers. But the only thing that you have to look for is difference in texture. Of course, we're at the school here and we have all these materials available like the Ripsalis and all these different plants. Maybe you can find some nice foliage from your garden that you can enhance it with. But yeah, what you should look for is different textures. So I would say at least three different types of flowers. So you need something with an open texture, pointy. You need something a little bit compact and round, closed. So that's two flowers, but I would say three just for the sake of it. And then instead of having Camelaucium, Astrantia, Chrysanthemum, this grass, maybe just have one. Maybe just only have Camelaucium. Yes, Angelica. We have Angela Heard say hey. greetings from London. I've been watching whilst finishing five sets of scrubs. Now I can sit back and really enjoy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Working hard in the garden. Nice, cool. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Angela says, garden, no, PPE for COVID nurses. Scrubs. scrubs. Oh, scrubs. I thought I thought shrubs, but scrubs, yeah, those are like uh, pants for hospital people, right? Yeah, I didn't say it wrong. No, 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 I just heard it wrong. <laughs> I don't want no scrubs. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please subscribe for more content like this. It really helps us out to create more. At this point, only 50% of you are subscribed. Hmm. If you'd like to support our channel in another way, we now have merch. We have caps in three colors, pink, blue, and gray. The pink and blue are limited to only five. So if you'd like one of those, get them fast. Use the code flowerlovers for 10% off. See you in the next video.